Hey, and we're back to Jaws of Extinction, and there are we are in the safe zone, and there are people walking around now. I see a tent. Well, hey, let's see if we can talk to him. That's a kid wearing a shirt with a cat on it. So we can't interact with that person. Let's go over here and see if we can interact with this person. She looks at us. She doesn't speak to us. Let's go see if there's anything in the house. I wonder if the house is... Oh, there's a guy sitting here. Hmm. They don't want to talk to me. I wonder if there's a special button for talking to them. Or if that's a thing yet. There might be. It might not be a thing yet. Um, interact, I don't see an interaction type button. We're supposed to use F to do things with stuff. But it looks like that doesn't help us to interact with people yet. Well, okay. It's uh, kind of cool that, um... That the games come along that much now. Of course, we move into the house. There's a little bit of furniture in this room. There's a couch, a bookcase, a table. Things are starting to improve with each patch. Oh, look, there's a hide a bed up here. She's sweeping the floors. She's not willing to talk to us yet. Oh. Triage. It's a little hospital. That's cool. Can't use any of the furniture just yet. We're going up to the next level just because we can. See if anything's changed up here. Oh, still white a bit of displacement there so nothing up here so we have people moving about cleaning we have a hospital zone we have an area over here with more sleeping arrangements very cool. Some things have uh, been changed. The door is gone, however. It's very interesting. So, the garage is stocked with stuff. I don't think we can interact with it. They got batteries. Oh, well, very cool. Lots of food. I think their refrigerator might even work. Let's go over and see the tents. We're still cold for some reason, and I just don't think that's accurate. Our temperature right now is 73 degrees. That is not cold, people. What's really scary is that chick looks, that child looks super pale, like, like she's on her way to being dead. <laughs> and there's people outside. And that guy, they don't like me. He tends to run away. So the guy's hanging around the fire. 
they're not here anymore. I think I hear a generator running. up here. Oops. I'd like the freezing thing to go away. There's a gun and a little bit of ammunition, but nothing special going on up here. that we don't have anything sitting on the tables anymore. So that has changed. I wonder what's going on over here now. There's still a fire down there. That's a truck. This garage has changed some. It's got a generator. This is a shop. I wonder if this is somewhere you'll be able to modify tools. Those look like radios, military radios. Hmm. Might eventually have lockers. There's the batteries and the equipment for the batteries. Like a set of drawings on the table that we might get to interact with eventually. These fires will now warm us up. Yes. 
how warm would we need to get to melt the frost on the monitor? <laughs> this says it's 95 degrees, 99 degrees in front of the fire. And our core temperature is going up to 74 degrees. But the frost is not going away. I wonder how long and at what, how much, that's scrap right there, and some meat. And it would appear the sun is going down again. So, hey, the frost went away. Of course, it's 183 degrees with a 78 degree body temperature, so I think we should back up a little bit. There we go. The frost went away at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and now they're saying our temperature is low, which isn't true. We're standing next to the fire, and we're getting warmed up. Hmm. And the sun is going down. That's west. That's east. The sun should come up in the east. Typically. I've forgotten what all the little markers on the map system mean. Um, that red one is not... I don't think that's good. I think it says caution. So maybe the bad guys are out there. We want to go northeast, the campground. When the sun comes up, ninety-two degrees. We are our body temperature is up to ninety-three degrees. So I suppose that's. I guess if your body temperature is 75 degrees or 71 degrees, that is kind of cold for your body to be that cold. Um, let's see how far back we can get from the fire. Oop, 86 degrees. That's going to mean our core temp is going to start dropping. So there's 105 in front of the fire, our body tip is at 97. So I guess I stand corrected yet again, as when I think body temp, I was not thinking correctly. If your body core temp is down at 70 degrees, I suppose that's quite frosty. And you could be, that could be confused. That could make you very cold. And so here we, uh, we're warm because we're next to this fire. And it's good that that works. So we are right on the edge. Uh, we have 42 kilos. We have plenty of stuff. Way too many bullets. We have a sleep bag, some lighters. Um, I don't know that we need a lighter for every fire we start. I haven't figured that one out yet. We did end up keeping that weapon. And we can um, recycle this. Health kits are good. We need health kits. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Uh, let's drink this and we could eat some of these and that gives us a little bit of hydration and food the walnuts are apparently pretty good for us it's five o'clock a.m. the sun is coming up yet again and I think we should get out of Dodge. I think we should grab 
whatever we find on the table. That's an apple. That's not a bad deal. Cigarettes. Oh, yeah, gotta have those because, you know, they make you healthy. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. So if we were to leave, we did not talk to anyone. These little poles with the things on them are new. Huh. Well, some new cool things. And the sun is coming up. And, um... It's time to move out into the woods. Now, I think at this point, we should probably be careful because it's possible that since we've seen deer, that there are really wild animals out that might try to eat us. The deer were not afraid of us. They did not run from us. This is the path we want to take. So I think we'll just walk down this path for a bit and see where we got uh, what new things we see out here. Huh. Of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be raining? Silliness. The drawback to walking on the path is that we aren't collecting any natural fibers. So I guess we'll walk through the trees along the path. As long as we're paying attention to the potential baddie or vicious canine. And see, we want to go this way. We should try whacking on a tree since that was a problem the last time that we ended up having to start over for. So let's see if we can whack on this tree just once. Hmm. We aren't able to whack on trees. I wonder... Man, I don't want to have to start again. Why can't we whack on trees? We're going to have to... Uh, we will report it right now. All right, we have submitted our report. Now I have a funky, oh, okay. Hmm. Are we stalled? We are stalled. We are unable to move. Did sending the report mess us up? I don't know. Hmm. 
We can't, our keys are not doing anything for us. We can't even try to do another report. We cannot move, turn, or otherwise. Okay, we can't, oh, we can actually, oh, wait a minute. There we go. That was weird. So. We still don't have, we're not getting any wood from the trees. That's going to kind of bite when we go to uh, the campground because we won't have any way to protect ourselves. I guess we could go ahead and continue on to the campground. If we can't build anything, we will have to come back and stay in the house to protect ourselves from the rain. Maybe when we get to the campground and the sheriff pipes up again, we'll be able to make some bandages, which will make, which will fulfill that quest line. And then maybe we'll be able to cut down trees. I don't know. Guess we gotta go try it for science. Kind of strange. Here's some trees across the path. That's not new anymore. I don't see any bears. Or um, deer, for that matter. We've seen those before, but we haven't seen them here. And here we come, into the campground. Now that you're relatively safe, it seems like a good time for some bushcraft training. I can teach you how to craft your own bandages if you gather some natural plant fibers from the bushes. I think we're going to have to turn him up. Hold, bear with me, folks. See if you can find some. Okay, we're gonna go pick some stuff like the sergeant tells us to. Chief, whatever he's called. I guess we should be thankful. We're gonna need to make. We're gonna need to put our sleeping bag down out here. Rain or no rain, shelter or no shelter. I think we should put our sleeping bag down here. Let's see where are the bandages. Let's make a couple. Okay, it looks like you have everything you need for now. You're gonna have to survive out there on your own, but not forever. It's not just me looking out for you. There's a group of us building a resistance. Lots of going on in the safe zones at the moment. They were set up by the military, but things aren't going very well. With no communication from central government, some of the soldiers have started acting like dictators, and it was chaos when people were moved east from their homes. Anyone who showed signs of infection was taken away, and there hasn't been any communication from them since. We've had enough. You won't be allowed in the safe zone. The soldiers will probably shoot you on sight. Try and survive for now. And if everything goes according to plan, well, we'll see. Just stay safe, Amy. I'll be in contact again, but I have some things I need to take care of, so you may not hear from me for a while. Make sure and keep your radio on this frequency, just in case. Hmm. We are not able It's getting cold again. Uh 
Let's get the fire lit. So at this point, we need to get away from the fire a little bit because we're going to burn ourselves. We cannot cut down trees. Therefore, we cannot create a shelter. But this is the place we want to be. No matter what. So we've saved our spawn location. Now we have to figure out what stops us from cutting down trees because we need wood. I don't have any wood. I don't know what to do about that, honestly. I need to find out. So, we'll stop here. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're on this journey again, and it is alpha, and there are multi there are patches coming all the time, and we keep getting to restart. Um, I'll keep doing videos regardless, restart or not. So you all have a great day, and uh, we will talk to you again soon.